Hey guys, welcome back to more Hand of the Heavenly Bride. That's Dragon Quest V. I'm staying at the end. This is immediately after the last video. I actually got quite a bit of recording done today. That's that's hot. All right. Um. All right. Just make sure there might be a whole bunch of other shit to do here, like buying stuff. Um. Where's the item shop? Let's talk to him. See what he has. Uh. Nothing interesting at all. Let's actually go around the back and actually talk to the guy. If I could have married Nira, I would have expanded the shop, you know. But I won't be able to do any expanding if I end up dead, will I? If you're still thinking of going, you'll be wanting to stock up with some decent items here before you head off, won't you? Right. Um, let's see, are these idiots actually open now and selling stuff? Okay, good. It's weird, like when I came here, they were treating it as if it was daytime. Um, so wait, I wanted to sell some stuff. I got this silk apron and that other thing, the silver tiara. The silver tiara, I'm pretty sure, is pretty useless. It's just for selling, really. It's not a very good piece of equipment. And then the silk apron, oh god, that's worth nothing. It's like 55 gold coins, are you a dope? That's not going to give me enough. All right. Well, considering that I have almost enough, I'm not even going to pause it. I'm just going to, well, actually, I might want to. Let's see what they have for weapons here. So let's see, Chain Whip, Steel Broadsword, Morning Star, Cautery Sword. Oh, and that's expensive, but it's really good. And the Steel Fang. Oh, I want those Cautery Swords, those two of them, it's going to cost 4400 I guess I'm pausing. I'll be right back, you guys. And we're back and fully equipped on that ad, and uh, about actually reached the two minute mark because it's like a half hour later. That took a while. Um, okay, so Madison's at level 22, Gudian's at level 20. Gutrude at level 23, actually ahead of Madison, slime to level up pretty fast, and Bomber is at level 19. And uh, we got everything, so let's uh, let's see about this uh, lava cave area, you know, that's uh, where the ring of fire is supposed to be. Because I fell into a burning ring of fire. What we got? Chimeras! Ooh, first time running into them. If I'd known they were chimeras just down there, I probably would have trained down here, because they usually give pretty good experience in gold. And that's great. I, I just, yeah. There's a classic enemy going back to the first game. Uh, you know, in the Dragon Warrior version, you know, the, the version that we got, they were they were changed to, um, they were called wyverns, but they were always supposed to be chimeras. Translation issues with the first couple of games that came out in America. Uh, where is it? Is it up here? Let's check up here. Oh, that actually loops right back. Okay. Alright, so we got Jiggery Pokerers. How very witty. said southeast, so I'm thinking I don't want to just blindly go south, I want to also go east, but there doesn't seem to be anything over here. I don't have a map up in front of me, and it has been quite a while since I've last played this, so oh, that critical matter and that monster tamer is dead as fuck, and what I get? A thorn whip. You know what, didn't I get another thorn whip at some point? Oh yeah, look at that, and I never sold it. Oh well, I'll just hang on to that for now. Uh, let's just continue to go south until I find it, I guess. All right, so we got uh, Hunter Max, but they're just gonna start attacking now without even waiting for uh, consent. Creepy. Madison needs a little bit of healing. He got kind of wrecked there. But everybody's got all the, uh, well, everybody that I'm using actively, at least, has all the, uh, possible equipment that they could need. Uh, I think I go here. Alright, we got more monster tamers. Calling in the legionnaires. I see how it is. I see how it is. Dope. You're a douche. Um, is it up here? Or... Yeah, it is. It's right there. Okay. And what do we got? Rock bombs and a pox tongue. Rock bombs. Don't like to actually do much. You can 
usually leave them for last. They... There's some games where they explode, but it usually it takes so long for them to actually blow up that it's not that big of a deal. Here we are. Right, should I go this way? No. Okay. Let's, oh, let's see what the skeleton's all about. Oh, shit! We got a goodie bag, a gamagin, and a hot bog. Definitely want to kill the goodie bag. They usually give a lot of money for killing them. Alright, yeah, he's done. Awesome sprites. I mean, I think I said this in a previous episode, but Dragon Quest V for the DS has, has got to be their best, their best sprite work. I mean... You know, I mean, six. You know, also had great, great sprite, uh, great sprite work, sprite work. I can't talk today, but um, oh, there's Crispin. I see. I'm not the only one determined enough to get this far. The circle of fire is in these caves somewhere, so may the best man win. Well, you're just kind of going back and forth, and I'm actually looking. So. Um, you know, but then like you know, the remake of seven had uh, 3D models, and eight and nine had 3D models, and you know, ten. 11 of 3D models, so... But I honestly think that, like... I mean, 6, of course, had a lot of the same sprites and some new ones, but I think a lot of the new sprites that were created for 5 were just fantastic. Oh, look at that. Alright. That's just some money! And it doesn't look like... I mean, that could turn to the right. I can't quite see it, and this is not a place where I can turn the camera, so I... I will go like a dope to check it out. We got a goodie bag and a gam again here. All right, Madison's level twenty-three. Very cool. It does turn to the right. I'm glad I looked. I mean, it's a dead end, but I'm still glad I looked. <laughs> All right, just monster tamers. Other than these guys calling a whole bunch of monsters. That actually helped when I was trying to uh, get up enough money for all the equipment that I needed there. For the swords and the top hat, you know. Those quarry swords are quite costly. So we're going to go this way. What do we got here? Two monster tamers. Not a problem. We got ourselves a hot bog and some goodie bags. Always got to concentrate on the goodie bags just because they give so much money and they don't always run away, but sometimes they run away. So you want to make sure you can kill them. Bloop. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, I can see where I'm going. We got two hot bugs and a gamagin. Madison's getting kind of. Oh man, those gamagins do a lot of damage. I'm gonna have with that magic. I'm gonna have to uh, make sure to heal up after this. Da -da 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 -da. Down I go. On your mom. She enjoys it. There's an item right there. I might as well go grab it. And we got a battle against two Gamagans and a hot bog. Alright, these Gamagans are kind of dangerous. So let's take them out quickly. It's just a TNT ticket, but that's, that's pretty great. All right, I can see where I'm supposed to go. Let me just do a little explorating. Right, I can see that there's a treasure chest right there. We got Gamagins right here. At least they're not that tough. Like, it, generally two hits takes them out. Oh, oh. Maybe not that time. Boy, do they do some damage. Like, Palmer, and they just took off like almost half his health with that hit. I'll have to heal up 
after this. Luckily, Gudian's a healer, so... And who's leveling right now? Wack is leveling. He's not even in the party. I ain't worried about that. Let's uh, do the heal all. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna have to walk on that lava to get that. Um, anything over here? What do we got? We got a monster tamer and a gamagon. Yeah, these gamagons have become high value targets now just because of how dangerous they are. Come on, somebody hit it. Thank you. What are you calling in? A bag of laughs? I ain't worried about that too much. See? Told you. Should have called a better monster. And you wouldn't be dead. I mean, you'd still be dead. But you would have lived slightly longer. What do we got here? Just an iron helmet. That is a whole lot of blah blah blah, really. Oh, hold on. My phone's yelling at me about something. Sorry, I'm just doing something real quick. Won't be long. We're good. Okay, so we got a rock bomb and a rock bomb and a gamagin. Good meat. Oh, and somebody's leveling up. Who is it? Gudian's level 21. Excellent for Gudian. And somebody else is leveling up. Gutrude is level 24. Excellent for her. So I guess we're going up in this direction. Um, I gotta find a... No, I gotta I got find a way to get... I gotta find a, a path down. I didn't see it. We've got monster tamers and a uh, flamethrower. And they're just attacking, so that's just great. I'm bringing in the cure slime. Gotta get rid of this flamethrower. And a legionnaire shows up. These legionnaires are definitely not tough at this point in the game. And another legionnaire shows up. Okay, no big deal. It's all extra experience and money for me anyway. Yeah, I gotta find the path to get down onto the, the lower... Like the lava, that's kind of hard. And um, Oh, what do we got? Gamagans. I can kill them before they do anything too dangerous. Yeah. Oof. That magic. That magic go. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Okay. I mean, uh, before I continue along, I want to make sure to get that treasure chest. Uh, it's probably going to hurt to stand on that lava, though, even though it's hardened. It looks pretty hot. we got two rock bombs and a hot bog. That's not going to be a problem, really. Nice. And that one's asleep anyway, so... This creepy grin. Like an evil monochromatic meat wad. Quickly, quickly. And that is a staff of anti magic. Now, that, you could use that as a weapon from what I remember, but uh, it's mostly used as a tool during battle. But let me just see if it's a decent weapon for anybody. I mean, I could, he could have it, but I ain't using him, so. Oh, and there's enemies down there, shit. Oh, there's hot box. Okay, I'm too worried about that. I wanted to get back up before I worried about healing. But actually, now that I can see, uh, my health is really good, so. Oh, you're just casting buff. That's that's amazing. Why don't you just continue to do that, asshole? Dick. And you can just die. Uh, critical hits. Of course, ignore the effects of spells that raise your defense. All right. All right so now we go down this way and back around and up to the staircase that I saw earlier. We got a flamethrower, rock bomb, and a monster tamer. Let's concentrate on this flamethrower first, at least. Mm, brought a cure slime, man. Mm. 
And now a Legionnaire. So I may have wandered a bit on this floor, but I've got everything. Alright, so we're going this way, and then all the way up. And down that staircase. Alright, two Monster Tamers and a Gam again. So kill this thing before it casts any dangerous spells on me. So there's quite a few spots where I could uh, get hurt here. That wasn't worth it, but I saw that this is. Alright, we got flamethrowers. Luckily these guys are not that bad, so... Gudian's a little low on the old HP, but Madison himself can do that too. I think Gutru even has some damage abilities. And oh! Look at that! Look at that! Look how weak that was! It didn't even hurt Madison or Gudian. You just suck, dude. You know why that didn't work? Because those magic shields I have equipped. See two staircases there. And we got a seat of resilience, which is the one that looks like a snail. Can't tell me that doesn't look like a snail. It totally looks like a snail. Alright, resilience up by two. Alright, we got Hunter Max. I think there's even a healing spot in this somewhere. One down. These guys, I mean, it's. They're not that bad, to be honest. They have high defense, that's really all there is to say about them. In some of the games, seeing um, these guys... what I get? Oh, I got a Seed of Wisdom, wow. Is it is a hint that there's like metal enemies around, like metal slimes or whatnot? But I don't think that applies to this one. And the Seed of Wisdom is the one that looks like a condom. What were you expecting, condams? Is this going to be worth it? Yes, okay. We got hot bugs. Treat them. Get fucked. What do we got? Oh, just money. <laughs> Ain't gonna poo poo money, I tell you what. Except for that time I ate all that money. I should heal up. Something to do on healing duties because Gudian's kind of low on the old MP, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's like some healing spring or something down here. I mean, oh, they're just gonna go ahead, these hot dogs, because there is a spot for um, healing. I'm pretty sure there is. It makes sense because it's like, you know, it's a volcano. There's about to be hot springs in here. Will you stop with the buffing your defense. Just, that's really annoying. I love that animation of them leaping like that. That's so cool. Reminds me of a, a little bit of like a like a really cool version of like the Yellow Devil from uh, Mega Man. All right, we got two more flamethrowers in this text. Ah, anyway, about that right now. Look at that later. Oh, well, and it's popping up on my screen as well. I moved it up, but. Eh. Chrome open. Uh, do I don't want this one or the other one. I think I want the other one first. Let's go to the other one. Gotta walk through this shit, but you know. This is the healing spring. Okay, cool. And yeah, magic and everything. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, a whole lot of nothing here. Okay. I bet you gotta walk through that right after you heal yourself. But hey, that ain't bad. Alright. The Ring of Fire. Obviously, we're gonna have to fight somebody for it. It's just like a bunch of magma men or something, but um, I fell into the burning ring of fire. There's another one coming up. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Alright, we got magma. They're basically the stronger version of the hot box. They are bosses, even though there's three of them and they look like regular enemies. Um, 
Let's start off with... Um, somebody's gonna have cut off. It's just happy with tap. Let's see. Do you have cut off? No. You have you have Kassab. That's even better. You have focus strength. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about defense. I'm just gonna... Do this. That hurts. Alright, their defense is really low. And they're slow too, so that helps. Oh, right. They don't always breathe fire. That's the most dangerous thing they're doing, obviously. Oh, god, that hurts. Right, I need you to start healing people. Especially Bomb Run, because he's in the yellow. Do you have healing? No, I just keep using Oh, you have Kabuff! Shit, I didn't say that before. Alright, one down. That might take out Gootrude. Ah, oh, poor Gootrude. And I don't have, like, uh, I don't have Zing, so I can't do anything about that. That's okay. They keep wasting their turns, which is excellent. There we go. Like, before their defense goes back to normal, I need to really do something about this. gudeon has got really good defense. Sucks about Gutrude. You know, she was a little higher level than Madison anyway, so... Oh, not good. Come on, take him out, take him out. There, he's done. Okay, cool. There's a ring buried in the rock, shining like a fiery ember. Madison obtains the Circle of Fire. Alright, so we got that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's get the hell out of here, uh, starting with evac. Okay, zoom to go back to... Mostro Ferrato. What? So we have one of the two requisite rings to marry somebody. Of course, it's all really a means to an end to, um, get a hold of the Zenithian shield, but... You know. Um, did I ever talk to you and check? I never went in here. Yeah, come on, Dad. Let's get those monsters. I don't think I ever came in here and uh, checked these things. I just realized that. Oh, look at that. And there was an iron shield in there the whole time. I could have sold that. All right, where's the damn, um, whatchamacallit? I don't even have Gudian with, Gutrud with me. Why wouldn't I not have her? Okay, I have her now, but how am I supposed to resurrect her if she's not on the party? All right, well, here's the. Church. For some reason, I thought it was part of it. And that was the previous town. Did I ever talk to you? Yeah, I did. Okay, shut up. Resurrection! Good, alright. 500, Jesus. Highway robbery it is. Meow, meow, meow. Let's actually get get her back on the party. Can I do this from here? Or do I need to be outside? Let's find out. Oh, I need to be outside. That sucks. Cool. No, I didn't mean to go to the tower. That's for later. Not much later. Um. All right. Let's stay at the inn, and then we'll go talk to Mr. Briscoletti. I love this guy. Gee, you look really beat. Don't sweat it though. Staying here will have you feeling top of the world again in no time. And for only 40 bucks a night. 
pretty much giving it to you for free, huh? What do you say? You want to stay, right? Way to go. I'll show you your room. I love how they don't, you know, he doesn't have the generic, you know, just whatever dialogue. He's actually saying something unique. So that's pretty cool. Um, Alright. So let's go talk to Briscoletti. Got the, the circle of fire. I keep wanting to call it Ring of Fire because the Johnny Cash on it. It's actually the circle of fire. I love when you come in here and you're all alone. Like you're... Uh, it didn't matter to put her back in the party. Mama Mia, the circle of fire. Excellent work, Madison. I'll take it off your hands for now. That's alright with you, I trust. Yeah, you can have the damn thing. So all that remains for you to do is to bring me the circle of water and marry my Bambina. Use your brain now, boy. It's called the circle of water, so it'll be hidden in a place full of water, wouldn't you say? So, I'll give you free use of my ship. It's more than the Laguna just outside of town. It's uh, just one of my smaller vessels, of course. A toy, if you will. But it should be plenty large enough for you and your friends. He's like, ha I am rich. I will give you one of my boats. It's not even that big of a deal. I have to put my party back together. Oh, okay, they're, they're in there. Yeah, but are they actually there? Because I had an incident. Yeah, see. Let me just do that just to be sure. All right. All right. Oh, oh. Now we only have one option is to just go right up this river. So let's get, get in there, dude. We got a boat. We got a boat. Lock a ship tight. There's no one getting by. Oh, right, right. You go here, I think. Oh, we got enemies. It's Morphean mollusks. That's a fucking cool. I know they're gonna put me to sleep because they're called Morphean, but that's such a cool name, Morphean mollusks. Well, they didn't, they didn't cast any sleep spells that time, but... Morpheus. The Sandman. You know. Or Morphine. This ain't gonna be it. Yeah, I can't even get in here. No, that's for something else. Uh... You know what it is? I, it's on the other side of the river. Who's texting me now? Uh... All right, drooling ghouls. Oh my god, these guys are so hard to hit. Oh my god, stop dodging you, you fucking assholes! Belly drum, bitch. I guess they're easy to kill. It's just not easy to hit. Once you do hit them, they tend to die pretty quickly. But holy shit. That way. Come on, there's so many enemies in the mountains. This is like Hunter Max. Might as well. <laughs> Got him. Alright. It is the town. I'm like, where the hell is this fucking town? Well, I got here at night. <laughs> Meow. I really don't know what I expected. Let's check this well out. You as well, eh? I don't blame you. The baths here turn up some real beauties. I'm talking about these bath, bath crystals, of course. The famous stock and barrel scintillating center. I'm afraid no good things in life come for free, though. What I'd really like is a desert rose. You sometimes come across them in the desert. If you could find me one, I'm more than happy to give you some center in exchange. Wait a minute, don't go telling me the villagers about this, okay? This is just between you and me. Yeah, I know, you want your stupid crystals. Alright. Um... Let's just... I, I, I just want to end the video, but let me at least like, explore the town first. Breaky breaky. Look at that, I found a seed of walnut strength. Oh, it's an urn expected. That's, that's annoying. I just kill the fucking thing. I die already. You're not even strong, just die. It's like it's an urn! Just pick it up and throw it. You dick. Stop dodging. Thank you. what I get? Mini metal, sweet. It's probably what would would have would have what would have been in the urn anyway. All right. Uh, no. Seed of strength. All right. 
And boom, strength up by one. Once, when I traveled upriver long ago, I came across a ginormous cave. I was too scared to go inside. More's the pity, because I'll bet there's all sorts of treasure hidden in there. Yeah, probably. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Hey, man. Come on. Come over up the river, did you? I'll bet the lock had you scratching your head, though, eh? There's no obvious way through them. Someone in the village should be able to open them up for you, mind. Why is the lock a dude? I'm busy studying to be a priest, you know. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Goo! Goo! Uh, that guy's clearly a weirdo. She seems to be lost in prayer and doesn't notice Madison standing beside her. Look, guys. I think that's Bianca. One of the Heavenly Brides. Oh, I already talked to you, you weirdo. You the lock as a dude. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, weapon shop's closed. Let's go to the bar. Bianca. Dear, oh dear. The fellow from the weapon shop's on his tenth already. His wife will have his guts for garters when he gets home. That's gross. See, everyone, I'm off to join that religion and go to the White King's Paradise place. Oh, he's probably a slave or dead. There's a chap called Whitey living in the far end of the village. That daughter of his is a real beauty. What I'd give to be able to marry that one. My right arm at the very least. Dude, you're old. You're, you're being creepy. She's she's like 16. Actually, she'd be 18 because she's older than Madison. I just remembered that. He's gone and fallen asleep over his drink again. He says it's all for Bianca's sake, but I still say he works too hard. All work or no play ain't a good one to no one. That's what I say. Bit of work. And a bit of drink. Everything in moderation. There's apparently some kind of religious order out there at the moment collecting money to build a White King's Paradise or such like. They say they'll keep you safe even if the end off, even if the end of the world comes and all that. I don't know though. I've been around a bit myself, so I'm not so naive as some. The whole thing sounds a bit fishy to me. It is. Sleeping, sleeping. Now, let's see. Oh, look at that. We got a medicinal herb. Dead herb, though. And nothing. Alright, can't get over there. Not through this anyway. It's your problem. That husband of mine, he may as well... He may as well up sticks and move to the pub the amount of time he spends there. Up sticks? Where do you get your slang, lady? Should have left it there. Out of my way, out of my way. Let's see, I'm just seeing to make sure I'm not missing much. Well, there's the guy in the, the hot spring. Uh, I gotta go. Ah, it's annoying. Alright. I'll stay at the inn and then stop, and we'll explore the town during the day some other time. Splish splash. Ah, you can't be having the baths pretty much to yourself. Splash, splash, when I'm taking a bath. And then I had to clean up the mess. <laughs> it's your problem. You're probably sleeping. <coughs> oh, someone there? Hello there. Hmm, who are you? Haven't we met somewhere before? Yeah, you don't remember me? I have the purple turban. No, I don't believe it. You're Pancras's boy. Good grief. What a turn up for the books. You're alive after all these years, Madison. You haven't grown. You haven't half grown as well. You were just a little boy the last time I saw you. I remember you and my Bianca playing about together. So how's old Pancras doing then? Keeping well, is he? Uh, yeah, no. Oh no, what a terrible thing. It must have been hell of a tough for you then, Madison. All on, on, your, all on your lonesome. Things have been hard on us too since I lost my lovely wife. You said hard on. She was always much stronger than me. I never expected her to go first. Come to think of it, did you not see Bianca on your way over here? You probably would have passed her tenant or her mother's grave. I'm back! Bianca, look who's here! It's Madison! Your old friend Madison's still alive after all these years. You know, it's weird. He thought Pancras would still be alive. But for some reason, he's surprised that Madison is alive? Like... Madison's only 16. I know you haven't seen him in a long time, but why would he be dead? And then, seeing him... Like, like if you're assuming that Madison died, why would you assume that Pancras is alive? That's weird. 
You're weird, Whitey. I knew it, Madison. I knew you'd still be alive. And there's Bomberin with you, too. Haven't you grown, Bomberin? I heard all about Wilbrick being torched and you going missing, Madison. But I always had faith you survived it all somehow. You promised we'd have another adventure together one day, after all. And I knew you wouldn't go back on that. It's hard to believe it's been ten years, though. You know I have got a lot to talk about, eh? I hope you're not in any hurry to get away. Eh? You haven't got much time to hang around? Crikey, you have to find some ring called the Circle of Water so you can get married? Now there's a turnip. You're a turnip. Bianca and Madison talk late into the night about all that has happened in the ten years since they last met. And then day breaks. Meow, meow, meow. Come on, I'm trying to end this video. Forgot there's a major cutscene here. Morning, Madison. Sleep well? Ah, uh, yeah, until you walked in. I'm just in the middle of getting breakfast ready, so you might uh, want to get yourself up before long, eh? Well, I'm already fully dressed, so... Alright, I'm actually going to stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. Yeah!